Hey guys, welcome to History Behind the Warrior, and today we're going to be talking about Frost. Now, during the events of Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, Kua Liang had become the new Grand Master of the Lin Kuei, and would begin recruiting some new people as he eradicated the cyborg Lin Kuei. He would hold a tournament which Frost would win. Surprised by Frost's ability as a Chiromancer, he would take her under his wing. Whilst Frost was training under Sub-Zero, her power levels significantly increased, as did her arrogance, and Sub-Zero was unable to teach her humility. Now, due to the formation of the Deadly Alliance consisting of Quan Chi and Shang Tsung, Frost's training was cut short. Sub-Zero decided to bring Frost with him when he was meeting other members from Earthrealm. He was hoping that by bringing her with him, she may attain some kind of enlightenment, but her arrogance and attitude prevented her from making any kind of connections with them. Later, she would travel with Sub-Zero to Outworld, in which she revealed to Kwai Lang the real reason she joined the Lin Kuei. She would freeze him and say that she in fact wanted to become the Grand Master, and said that there was no place for someone like him in her Lin Kuei. She then tore the Dragon Medallion from Sub-Zero's chest, which is an artifact that enhances Chiromancer abilities as well as being the symbol of the Lin Kuei. Her plan quickly backfired, as a Dragon Medallion requires a lot of control in order to store its power and Frost did not have this. This led to her apparently freezing and killing herself. Despite everything, Sub-Zero had forgiven her, blaming himself for not teaching her humility. He would then take her body to an ancient tomb for Chiromancers, leaving her body in a sarcophagus. Now, during the events of Mortal Kombat Deception, Frost awoke some time after Sub-Zero's departure, believing that he left her for dead. Swearing to make him pay, she would travel to the Lin Kuei Temple in hopes of killing him. When Frost entered the Lin Kuei Temple, she had gone mad, seeing every member of the Lin Kuei as Sub-Zero. She would kill many members of the Lin Kuei until Sub-Zero had returned. Kuai Lang was forced to freeze Frost in an ice coffin, and placed her in the chamber for the fallen Lin Kuei, hoping that one day she would recover from her madness. Now Frost does return during the conquest mode of Armageddon, in which she is accidentally revived by Taven. When she awakens, she still sees everyone as Sub-Zero, so this leads to her lashing out at him, but was defeated by Taven. After the battle, Frost has been snapped out of her madness, and sees that Taven is not in fact Sub-Zero. She then rushes out of the temple, but does later appear during the Battle of Armageddon, where much like everyone else, she is killed. Now she makes her first canon appearance in the new timeline in the Mortal Kombat X comics. She is seen fighting Cassie Cage in a fight to the death cage match, but is defeated by Cassandra. She is then seen much later on where she is recruited into the new Lin Kuei, which is formed by Kwai Lang. A Frost does appear in Mortal Kombat X, where she interrupts a meeting between Sub-Zero and Hanzo, not wanting peace between the two clans. This leads to Hanzo knocking her aside, which in turn leads to a fight between Sub-Zero and Hanzo. After the two leaders fight, Frost attempts to attack Scorpion from behind, only to be frozen by Sub-Zero. She informs Hanzo that she's extremely powerful, but lacks judgement, and promises to deal with her later when she's unfrozen. And that's really it for Frost guys, she's definitely one of the fan favourites and it's a shame that she actually hasn't really got that much story behind her, but hopefully in the future more will be explored around her as I think she does have a lot of potential as characters go. She was like the original Takeda when she was brought under someone's wing, but they just kind of dropped the ball with the character. And I also want to say that the next episode of Mortal Kombat will most likely be Motaro since so many people have been requesting for him for such a long time now. I also want to let you guys know that I actually will not be able to make make an episode on Saturday, so unfortunately that may come out at a later date. But if I get the chance to, I'll try to make a teaser for who it will be, because I myself still haven't decided. Now as always guys, please comment, like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. Take care and I will see you guys next time.